Hi, this is Helena Hart, and I'm back with Leah Lake again today. Leah is a great friend of mine, and she also works with women to help them attract the love and money and clients that they want in their lives, specifically within the framework of the masculine and feminine energy dynamic. So welcome, Leah. Thank you so much for talking with me again today. Helena, I'm always so excited, and this is seriously one of my most favorite things to talk about, so I can't wait. Absolutely, me too. Today we're going to be talking about the number one shift a woman needs to make in order to attract the man and the money and the clients or success that she wants in her life, and we love talking about this. We recorded a video recently on uh, the number one secret to magnetizing men and money to you. We also have a video on how to heal your relationship with men and money. And I believe the first video we did together was on relationships, how to make a man fall in love all over again and reconnect your relationship. So I'll post links to all of those in the description because whenever Leah and I do a video together, everyone tends to want to see everything that Leah's done because she just has such an amazing, unique perspective on these really important topics. So let's just jump right in today, Leah. What would you say is the number one shift a woman needs to make in order to attract the man and the money that she wants? Okay, I love it. So the number one shift is embodying her empowered feminine and her empowered masculine energy. Okay, empowered feminine and empowered masculine energy. Uh, which is different than the wounded feminine and wounded masculine energy. And we're just so happy to be talking about this because unfortunately there's this common misconception that, you know, being in your feminine energy just means being super passive, maybe kind of like damsel in distress, just waiting around for a man to, um, you know, make a decision or waiting around for the, the clients or the money that we want to show up. And that just couldn't be further from the truth. So I think what would probably be most helpful, Leah, is to um, give a description of what is the wounded feminine and wounded masculine. We'll start there and then move into the empowered. Okay, okay, perfect. And just real quick, um, just to give the why this is important, um, I spoke a little bit about it in our last interview, but if you can just imagine that you're a lighthouse and the brighter your light shines, the more you will attract at the level that you desire. And so the wounded versus the empowered, right? The more wounded energy we have and the more we act from a wounded energy, the, the more dim our light gets. And so when I work with my clients, I teach them how to allow their, bright, their light to get brighter so they can attract in the man who can um, do relationship with them, attract in those clients that actually fulfill them and nourish them and create this beautiful energy exchange. So it's really about learning, okay, what dims my light and what allows my light to shine brighter. So the wounded energies, like just the word alone, we know like, okay, this needs to be healed and transformed, but we can't heal and transform anything until we actually know what it is. So I love what Helena said. And if we start with the wounded feminine, then it is about under, like knowing, like, are we waiting for somebody to come into our lives to give us permission, to give us that validation that we can have what we want? Um, do we feel powerless? Do we feel like somebody else can do it, but we can't? And all of these are normal, by the way. We, everybody has wound, wounded energies. Oh, and, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, we can, we can certainly get into this too, you know, um, and we're very practiced at this. So don't beat yourself up if you find yourself like having some of these beliefs or thought patterns. That's the first thing, right? Right, right. And then it, it comes on different levels. Like you're like, oh, I thought I like <laughs> fixed that already. Um, but so like the wounded feminine is this fear of being seen and fear of what other people will think that really holds women back. And obviously those things like dim your light and will keep a woman from being her most authentic self, which allows her light to shine bright. 
I love that. I love that. And I know you have so many, um, you know, examples of these doubts and fears that come up uh, with the wounded feminine. Like, um, it's it's not happening yet. It's taking too long. Maybe it's never going to happen. One thing I see a lot in clients who first come to me is this belief that they just cannot have what they want. And they argue for all their limitations of why it's not possible, why it's never going to happen for them. And it's very clear for me to see, or even someone just looking from the outside, how that's not serving them. So I love everything you said about that. Should we move on to the wounded masculine now, wounded masculine energy? Yes, yes. Okay, so the wounded masculine, and if you can just picture it like wounded feminine over here, wounded masculine, most people will go back and forth between each of them. So it's not just one or the other. And what we want to do is bring them closer and closer and closer together that, so that they are integrated and you can activate them. So that's what we're doing here, bringing them closer together. Okay, so the bully masculine is the, man, is the person who wants control. And we see this with narcissistic personalities, commitment issues, fear of intimacy. Um, what else? Emotionally unavailable, would you say that that's the emotionally unavailable? Um, they need to, it needs to be their way. And then we hear it within ourselves if it's like, this is, you know, this isn't going to work. This is taking too long. Um, I should have, you know, I should have listened to so and so, or I shouldn't have listened to so and so. Um, you know, you're wrong again. Any of those, like, really demeaning type like like I knew you couldn't do it type feelings got it yeah I I see in and I see it in patterns in my own family too almost like a you know just you make a decision and then it's like oh I should have done this <laughs> immediately second guess oh I should have done this like turning it on to yourself I should have done it this way I should have done that it's like this automatic um second guessing I don't know if that would fit in there or if that's more the other energy but Absolutely. I love what you said, the need to control, get your way at all costs without, uh, you know, empathy or, or um, thinking about the other person. That's the wounded masculine energy. So let's talk about the empowered energies now. Okay. So the empowered feminine is, she knows she's powerful. She knows she can create what she wants. She might not know how, but she trusts the process. She believes that anything is possible and so she that allows her to stay open to new ideas new opportunities and she's very in tune with her intuition I love that I love that and it's also like the the willingness to be seen right the confidence to express yourself coming from that uh, you know confident feminine energy place um, amazing okay now what about the empowered masculine energy Yes, I love it. Yes, the, the willingness to be seen, the willingness to be heard, right? You imagine a lighthouse just willing to be seen. Yes. Um, so then the empowered masculine gives freely without an agenda, has your back no matter what. And the, the other part of this that isn't talked about very much is the masculine, the empowered masculine will not sacrifice himself for the wounded energy. I like that. So it supports you, has your back, but doesn't sacrifice the itself to get pulled into this wounded energy. Is that, do I have that right? Yes. Yes. So an example would be, um, so say a man um, had a wife who was really hurt in, in the hospital. Um, he would sacrifice himself for her to get better and get well. That is what the masculine does. But let's say a man was cheated on and the woman was like, that's the wounded energy. So uh, let's say a woman kept cheating on a man and then wanted him back, but he just knew that it wasn't going to work. Like he will not sacrifice himself in order to be with the wounded energy. I got it. A perfect example. And, and we all have, you know, combinations of these different energies too. So we each have um, empowered and wounded masculine energy within ourselves, right? Or we can 
So it's not that uh, the man is just empowered or wounded and we're just empowered and wounded feminine. We all have different combinations of all of these going on and operating in our lives, right, Leah? Yes, yes. And it could be, like, I don't mean to even just use a man, but, like, even, like, if a man were cheating on us, or, and we, our own empowered masculine energy would come in and say, that's totally not going to work, and take the action to get ourselves out of there. Like, we need that empowered masculine energy, just as, you know, it's just all works together. Yeah, yeah. I've been hearing from a lot of women lately who say things like, I just keep getting pulled back into this dynamic. You know, I, I get motivated. I'm like ready to make a change and move on. And then I hear from him and I get sucked back into that whole like, you know, cycle, whatever it is. Really common situation. Yeah. What are some things a woman can do to like shift into her empowered, both her empowered masculine and feminine energy? If she's finding herself you know, resonating with what you're saying, like, oh, I can see where I've had some like wounded energy thought patterns or beliefs. How can she shift out of that? Oh, I love this. Yes. So if a woman is finding herself stuck, like recreating the same kind of situations over and over, or like, yeah, my money situation's the same, or something just feels more difficult. The first step is going at leading with the feminine, which is, well, this is my desire self-validation is crucial being able to like this is what i desire i know i can have it i might not know how and then that belief and trust so she goes into her empowered feminine then the empowered masculine has to come in with the conviction of this is happening without the wobbly like i don't know well maybe this isn't happening. right we have that empowered masculine is like this is happening I love that. There's so many different examples of that, right? So can you give an example? Because I know these are huge concepts, but they can really change your whole life if you can um, learn how to apply them to like your unique situation. Maybe one example when it comes to relationships and one when it comes to attracting money, that would be amazing. Okay, okay. So with relationships, if a woman is typically drawn to emotionally unavailable men, right, then she's comes in with her desire of like, no, I want a man who is present, who loves to pursue, who wants to be with me. That's her desire. I trust it can happen. I believe it can happen. They're kind of the same, but the trust is trusting the process. Then when her masculine energy comes in and says, this is it, this is happening. Then when these wounded energy well, first of all, she'll start to repel that wounded energy of being unavailable. But if she doesn't, if she can stand strong in that, which is what the masculine is for, then she, she can draw that love to her very quickly. I love that. I love that. And, and so one thing I hear a lot from women is like, well, what, what do they do during that gap of time where they have that desire? They're trying to hold the vision for themselves and trust the process. They're doing the, as best they can for that masculine to like be there and support her masculine energy within herself. What do you do during that time between setting that intention and when that man shows up in your life? Yes, right. That's the inner work. That is the work of, of the feminine, like trusting her desire can happen so that the masculine energy can come in and support her and then repeat, 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 repeat on a daily basis. It's like, Rather than letting these fears come in, this wounded energy of like, I don't know if it can happen or like it's not happening quick enough and throwing like a tantrum or uh, anything like that. It's like, I believe it. Here's the conviction. Okay. Love it. Love it. And I imagine it's very, very similar with money, but if you could just give a quick example with that too, or with clients or, or the career that she's looking for, anything like that. Yeah, so I love this with clients as well. It's like they want to price their services at a certain rate and they will, so they will, but then the fear comes in. Well, what if nobody was going to pay that? Or what if, like, or I need to get in front of certain people rather than believing if she has a desire, those people are already around her, right? So if she has a desire from her heart, like this is what I want, 
this is the program I want to create, this is the price point, believe it, trust the process, the masculine comes in with the conviction, this is what it's going to be, there is no wavering, there is no wobbliness, then those women can, can find her. I love that, I love it. So when you say the masculine comes in with the conviction, I just wanna be super clear, that, um, what exactly could that look like? What could that look like? So that means, okay, so the feminine energy always goes first with the desire. The, um, like, this is what I want, because that's what the masculine responds to. So she has the desire, then the masculine, if she has the desire, that inspires the masculine to come in with that, con what does that conviction look like? It means not wobbling, not wavering. You got this. You can do this. Um, not allowing the feminine to, to settle. There's I was no just, oh my God, <laughs> you just took the, I was going to say, or, you know, maybe somebody comes in and tries to like get a, a discount or a man comes in and tries to compromise your boundaries, not allowing you to get pulled into that energy where you're compromising yourself, right? Is that, is that, right. yeah. Yes. Yes, exactly. It's that safety and security within ourselves. That's like, no, this is my value. This is my worth. The masculine comes in and makes it so. And, and so that would look like setting boundaries, basically, and saying no to anyone who, any situation that like doesn't feel good to you, that doesn't feel like a really, really good fit, both in your love life or even like in friendships, family, work situations, clients. I mean, this is something we all go through every day. So that is really, really amazing. Are there any like specific tools? I know you have hundreds of tools, literally, <laughs> but specifically for this, any like visualizations or, or exercises to help a woman like shift into to this empowered feminine, empowered masculine place that you're talking about? Yes. Okay. So it's so important to, when we have this desire that we cultivate it on a daily basis. So integrating the empowered masculine and feminine is where the creation happens. And so this is what I'm teaching in Feminine Energy Secrets is we have the creation, we have the attraction, then we have the manifestation. And so the, cre the creation is the masculine and feminine coming together. Okay. And so when we feel when we put the way we want to feel first and then we allow the vision to come in that's where we that's where we create the manifestation and then we start attracting it so on so every morning at least one time during the day if a woman can get into the feeling space and allow her thoughts right feeling feminine thoughts masculine allow them to work together coherently for at least five minutes so that she can start creating the life she wants rather than reacting. Like that is just one very important thing that women can do. I love that. And what is she going to start to experience? Maybe almost immediately when she does something like that, even just five minutes early in the morning. Yes. Yes. So if she can stay open and be willing to be surprised, for what shows up rather than like just going just being like you know going throughout your day not being aware but just watch for the universe to give you a sign because it will it's so true it's i always say you know one of the first things that happens is you start to feel better right you start to feel a sense of relief and and i often tell clients it's just that little bit of relief that you're reaching for don't try and get all the way um to the end and go, well, I did this, and by the end of the day, I didn't attract the, the client or the man that I wanted, right? You're not looking to get all the way to the end. It's just a little bit of relief that you're reaching for, and accepting that as the manifestation, right? Accepting that, that shift in your emotion as like a sign that you're on the right track, like that will help you more than anything else. Just like, I feel better. Okay, I like this. I like this manifestation. Things are starting to shift for me. It's a, it's a sign that everything is moving in the right direction. Yes. Yes. I love that. It is like flowing between two worlds all day long. Like this is my reality. This is what I'm creating. And it's 
creates a beautiful flow. Um, but if she can stay open to being surprised, then she will know, like on a daily basis, she can know she's on the right track. I love that. We should probably do like so many more videos on this because they're huge topics, they're huge concepts, but they really can shift everything and, and allow you to create really the life of your dreams. Everything you wanted and things you didn't even know that you thought, things you forgot that you wanted <laughs> can, sh can show up in the craziest, most surprising, humorous ways. Like it's so, so amazing when you get into the flow of this. And and this is just so great. Any, what Anything else you'd like to share? Any like last um, tools or words of wisdom or anything like that? Uh, I'm going to post uh, a link to your Feminine Energy Secrets um, and everything in the description too so people can go check that out. Yeah. So what was coming to me just as you were talking is just to like, you can have what you want. You absolutely can. And to trust in your desires and that if you have the desire and you bring your masculine energy in with that conviction of it's happening, your whole world will change. Yeah, definitely. And for everyone watching, um, we'd love to hear from you. I know people are going to have questions, but type in your experiences too in the comment section. Where have you been coming from your empowered masculine and feminine and perhaps maybe your wounded masculine and feminine? I did a short video on this concept a long time ago and a lot of people were, you know, it, it made them realize, oh, I'm coming from wounded feminine here or wounded masculine there. So awareness is the first step to turning everything around. We'd love to hear from you and then maybe we can create some more videos on exactly how to make some shifts based on your comments and like where, where you are with all of this. Uh, we love talking about this so much. So Leah, I'll post a link to Feminine Energy Secrets, also your um, the free gift on your website so people can sign up for that. And um, yeah, any, any other way that people can get a hold of you and work with you? I know everyone's going to be interested in, in learning about what you have going on. I just love Leah's perspective. Every time she sends out a newsletter, I like stop what I'm doing and I read every word, <laughs> literally, because they're, they're helpful for me personally. Like, they can really help you no matter where you're at. So Leah, thank you so much again, and I hope we can do this again soon. Thank you, Helena. I hope we do it again soon as well. And I can't wait to read everyone's experiences in the comments. Like, those are really so, so great to read.